detailed information, but we need to let the department heads know that we want that. Yeah, there's a thousand points of information that might be helpful, you know. Okay. Uh, you know, even uh, Carroll County, you know, what's the total number of county employees per capita as compared to the yeah. 10 other counties? I have no idea. Okay. Well, if it's going to take six months to determine what the word may means, how long do you think it's going to take to study your proposal? Oh, we should get it done in two or three weeks. <laughs> <laughs> A couple of days ago. <laughs> yeah, no, no, oh, yeah, no. <laughs> no, I just oh, had, I just had a point of, of information for you. Sure. Not all counties have, for example, a farm. So you're gonna I'm have sorry, have a what? farm. You're gonna get limited oh. information. But you have uh, the other counties have also more beds, the nursing homes, they have much more beds. So. And Dorothy, I'm not saying that the county should or should not have a farm. But I no, think I, I just what, wanted to let you know that your, right. the information that you get will not be gotcha. totally uh, 10 counties. Gotcha. Okay. Speaking of farms, what, is the, what are they going to do with the pigs? They, They're uh, going to kill them. No, but I mean, what's, the, what's the procedure? They, You're going to have them frozen or whatever, uh, cut up. Those are they, pigs are not county pigs. You recognize that. They're not county Well, the county is paying for bringing them up. No, no, they're not. No. No. They're not, you're not paying for the food or anything? No. no. I, didn't, I didn't realize that. I no. thought they were given to the county, but no. I thought the county was raising them. No. 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 One of the problems that they talked about with that was the odor. Has anybody checked that out lately? I don't think Representative algren has been over here with his nose to check it out. Uh, I, was, I was at the county. Representative Algren. I was at the he county was, farm, farm day. There was no odor. There is odor. No, they were in pretty good shape. I think they're the cleanest animal there is. You give them a chance to be clean. Well, I thought that you're going to start raising these pigs and, and selling them off to people, to me, or whatever. And they're housebroken, too, aren't they, Dave? <laughs> they are. <laughs> people don't think that, but they are. Pigs are housebroken. Yeah, they can go outside. One of our residents go outside. the county farm. Like my dog. <laughs> That's right. One of my, he's since passed away, was a veterinarian in Wolfboro, and he had a 300-pound pig that he let roam around his house all day long. Let it out when I had to go I to hope that one was house broken. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah I mean, it, it was no, he didn't have any, you, there was no no tables or anything because the pig would just brush him what aside. What they call a dark, a guard pig? Oh, what's he called? <laughs> uh, he was over here. He was a veterinarian in Wolfboro for years. Well, okay, I, I'm Are you going to take up your last item on the agenda? Yeah. Yeah. So in closing, maybe you could summarize what we Hopefully, oh, gee. <laughs> what do you mean by use of payable accounts? Oh, I, I brought this up with uh, with Kathy Gehring the other day, and uh, at the end of the fiscal year, there's always some carryover because we haven't made all the expenditures. At town government, you know, we always have. Uh, What's the word I'm searching for? We always uh, put the extra money in the surplus. Well, into surplus, or we uh, we'll retain it. Right? How do we deal with the unexpended? With with the uh, I know what you mean. With, with the uh, bills that are still to be paid. Oh, incumbent. We have incumbent, incumbent. right? Incumbents. Yeah, yeah. We don't really do that here. But she was talking about the possibility of uh, a payables account, so that at the at the end. Uh, of that fiscal year, uh, we would have a sense of everything that is due to be paid, that should be paid and has been appropriated. We would we would know what that is, and I don't know whether what we'll do with that. I want to talk more with Kathy about that, but uh, uh, just to be sure that we have a good sense at the end of the fiscal year. Uh, not only what's in the bank, but how much we still have to take out of it because we've incumbent money to pay uh, bills that we've already uh, approved. You know, so that that was the sense of the account of the payables account. I don't know what we'll do with that, but that was just a way to get some more transparency uh, on on the issue. Well, when we pay we pay something in January that occurred in December. My experience has always been that. Somehow they take it out of the uh, previous year's budget. Yeah. Right. Yeah, they they do. don't. Inc it's encumbered, but it's not encumbered. That's they, that's yeah. that's exactly right. And and she was saying that it might be possible to set up a, a, a payables account. The problem is that uh, many account that our accounting 
uh, the, the computer program doesn't have that in it, but many accounting programs do have that in there so that you know, and you're not carrying it on paper, on slips of paper or anything like that. It's, it's right in your accounting program. And that was a possibility. We can talk about that uh, more later. If, if, and also, we didn't talk about new hires directly, but the, uh, my concern was that, uh, or the concerns expressed, is that no new hires take place unless they're previously approved by the county delegation. And uh, is this, you're talking about management hires mm -hmm. or just somebody that goes out here? Well, you know, so that we don't have in addition to a department. Oh, so you're talking about like a permanent per new right, type person. Right, okay. a, a new type person. So An additional permanent person. Right, and we haven't done anything with that yet in this, uh, you know, as far as a policy. You're looking at me quizzically. Uh, I don't understand what you're... Okay, that we would not add, uh, let's say, a deputy to the Sheriff's Department without uh, add a deputy, uh, without our approval. Although he could replace one that had left. He could replace one that left. But, or oh, would not even perhaps promote somebody without our approval. But that would be part of a policy decision. Well, I, you know, I know... Uh -huh. I wrote a letter to the editor not too long ago, and then I got a response back that said I was a liar. <clears throat> but here are my notes from the delegation meeting and the, and the uh, commissioners' meeting. They discussed laundry, two new employees. They discussed in maintenance, two new employees. Now, I didn't say they hired them or that they were going to hire them. All I said was in my letter that they discussed them. And here's the notes. They did discuss four new employees, two for the laundry, Two for maintenance. Um, I guess I forgot what I was going to say. You're going to set another meeting date? Oh, you were talking about new hires. Yes. Isn't that, um, Joe, isn't that basically taken care of in our budgeting process when we come down to salaries and, and all of a sudden you get $60,000 more and the, and, the, and the manager says, well, I've got to hire another person? Isn't that taken care of at that point? It should be, uh, you know, unless, I guess it goes back to transfer of funds again. If you could save enough uh, in a line, then maybe, or several lines, maybe you could afford to hire somebody without approval. I don't know how that would work. I'm just saying that uh, that's an issue that's been brought up. Do we want to talk about that as a policy? And, and I'm not trying to resolve it today, but I just listed it in here because as I went through notes in the past, uh, that was of some concern, and that's that's the reason I threw it in. So, but it's great information to have because the greatest budget driver is headcount. Right. And uh, I haven't seen any sheets with headcount on it by department. Uh, you know, prior year, this year, next year, uh, you know, authorized headcount, existing headcount. Uh, great numbers. <coughs> you to put a budget together. Could I ask Mrs. Uh, Commissioner Solomon a question? That hasn't no. I attended. Um, a meeting up at Hale's location, <clears throat> and they seem to think that the county is holding $484,000 of their tax money that wasn't used, and they county? would, yeah, okay. yeah, the county, and they would like to know, um, they believe that uh, other counties have... Uh, have given the money to repair roads and things like that, and they would like to know what they have to do to be able to get that money back, if if that's possible. It was an overage on their taxes or something. Wouldn't that go into surplus for the county? No. Uh, no. Or would it? no. They are not incorporated in the county. Oh, okay, okay. The right. county okay, commissioners are actually yeah. there. Okay, yeah. Your selectmen. Yeah. You're their selectmen, right? Yes. Yeah. And the, that's the question, the biggest question they had, $484,000. What, what can they do to get some of that back to make some improvements up there, et cetera, et cetera? As a uh, delegation or a convention, we have no control over that budget. We simply approve and uh, for you to expend. Thank you. Okay, as far as what, uh, well, let's see, uh, next meeting. Uh, I don't know how long this meeting will go on Monday. I, I, I couldn't stay any later there in because I have to work on stuff. Okay, on well, so let's... Gonna, in the morning is okay, but after lunch is not too okay. Let's set a date 
for the next meeting at the Monday meeting, if that's all right with everybody. Okay. We'll do it then, and then in the meantime, I'll be in contact with Betsy. I'll get to see what we can do on a legal opinion. That's one of the things we wanted to get. And uh, now, now who was missing today from this? Room? Uh, Norman. 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 Right. So uh, we'll uh, we'll we'll set the date on Monday for the next meeting, and uh, that will be determined okay. to some extent by how quickly we get the legal opinion. Yeah. Well, we'll, know, we'll know more then. Yeah. Mr. Chairman, I don't know whether whether you're taking suggestions of policies you want to discuss or not, and I'm not even sure that this policy should come before this group rather than the than the, the commissioners, but I think we ought to have a policy about farm equipment leaving 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 this um, complex to go do work for other people. And two of the commissioners voted to do that. One commissioner didn't. My question was, where do you draw the line? Are we renting it? We no, and we were the, well, part of the problem was no questions were asked, like how was the equipment going to get there? We don't have a trailer. Um, they were they 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 approved going up and plowing a garden for a gapathy up in West Ossipee. They never got plowed, right? Didn't get plowed. It, it didn't get plowed, but the the point is, it was okay. And you know who's liable if it goes up there? Actually, what, what, is, what is the liability is a big thing. And yeah, I don't, just for that reason, I don't think we should. Well, no, I mean, I, I don't know whether it's a policy that you plus, should bring plus up Plus, how about coming up and plowing my wife's garden? If you're going to do one. Yeah. I'm awful poor. You can plow mine. Okay. Uh, gee, that's, that, how does the committee feel about that? Do we turn it back to the commissioners? Is that something that the commissioners should have a policy on? Well, I think we should have a policy on that. that, that, that okay. That well, equipment well, I, can't go... Without approval, I think that's out of our purview. I think that's the commissioners, but we can recommend can to the commissioners that it not be allowed. Well, no. what, how about this? Getting back to a concept that we talked about earlier, we could direct the commissioners to develop a policy on restricting use of this. I mean, that's do we have the authority to direct, to direct yes. them to do yes. something in the everyday running yeah. of the county? Yeah, we, yeah we, we would. We would set the parameters for you. To, all we're asking for them to do is develop a policy on something. That's all we're asking to do. Well, you're not asking. You're directing them. Well, okay, we direct them to develop a policy. The thing that bothers me about I think that we can ask. I don't think we can direct. Is, is if you do it for one person or one group, how do you not do it for everybody? Right, right. Well, my question was whether yeah. you wanted to make the policy or, or, or leave it up to the commissioners. I think there definitely ought to be a policy that just yeah. establishes. I think it should be left up to the commissioners, but with a recommendation from the delegation that did not be allowed. Yeah, yeah by that. Yeah. <laughs> the, yes. Give him up. The, Why? The, you're, you're, you've lost your. In the sheriff's department, your computer guru, or you're going to lose it. Yes. What's what's going to happen as far as that stuff is concerned? From my perspective, yeah. uh, it will be taken over by Cybertron. Okay. What is that? I didn't hear you. Cybertron will take over the uh, running of the IT. That's oh, the way when, I see it. Meyer, when Myers leaves, you mean? Yes. Is that is that cost reflective of what the additional no. money he was getting, or is it a lot more? We don't know yet. We don't know yet. Well, at the, at the meeting, they said it would be 65000 remember? That yeah. was because they didn't know how the how it worked. I know. That was just a guess. It was a, just the number guess. that came up. Yeah. How about, uh, this, this is not in final form, but I'm just thinking about this and we can discuss it <laughs> later. But uh, that we direct the commissioners to develop a policy restricting use of county equipment off the complex. Yes. Is, is that okay? And then we can find to But let's let's do that as a start. Okay. I don't think uh, the uh, the equipment is leaving a county. It was just a one-time uh, help. It was a request. No, but left the county complex. Yeah, it yeah, but it was yeah, one time. Complex. Again, it, one time is you're opening a you're opening a can of worms. We, we do have equipment, and there's no reason we can't have a policy like yeah, that. Yeah, policy. It makes yeah. sense. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah, unless you bring out the fact that because of, of, of liability concerns and the cost 
I don't think we have the authority direct to direct